Hello, my name is Dennis. I am the technical instructor for Ventrac. Today we will be covering how to properly install the dual wheel kit on a 4500 tractor. Before installation of the dual wheel kit, ensure that the inner tire is installed properly. Ventrac uses rims with dual valve stems, meaning there's one valve stem on each side. It is important to note which is the inside and which is the outside of the rim before you mount them on the tractor. This can be determined by the warning sticker that is placed on the inside of the rim. This sticker needs to be facing towards the tractor when the tire is installed. To ensure proper tire pressure, refer to the warning label underneath the steering wheel. To install one dual wheel, we will need one tire, 10 lug nuts, one inner hub, one axle extension, and our instruction sheet. The tools required to install the dual wheel kit will be one 3 quarter inch deep well socket, a 1 inch deep well socket, a socket extension, and a torque wrench. It is also important that you wear safety glasses when performing the installation of the dual wheel kit. You also need a solid object or a jack to lift the tire up off of the ground. On the left side of the tractor we have the steering cylinder. When installing the dual wheels, you need to ensure that the steering cylinder is installed or moved to the center position. For instructions, refer to the instruction sheet that comes with the dual wheel kit. Before we begin the installation of the dual wheels, we want to verify that we have all five lug nuts on our inner tire and that these lug nuts are properly torqued to 55 foot-pounds. For installation, you'll need to raise one side of the tractor. This can be accomplished by driving onto a small block or using a jack and jack stands. First thing we're going to do is install the inner hub over top of the pre-existing lug nuts. It's important to note the tapered side of the lug nut faces towards the inner hub. Once you have hand tightened, go ahead and use your torque wrench to torque them down to 55 foot-pounds. You'll notice that one side of the rim has a warning sticker. This side of the rim must be facing the tractor when it is installed. We can go ahead and install our outer tire onto our axle extension and torque them down to 55 foot-pounds. You now want to check the end of your axle extension to ensure that your draw cone, the draw bolt, and the external threads of the axle extension have a nice coat of grease on them. We now want to ensure that we have a quarter inch to a half inch of travel. This will ensure that our axle extension is able to thread into our inner hub. At this point, we want to install our outer wheel assembly to our inner hub. Hold the draw bolt and place the threads of the axle extension inside the inner hub and then spin the tire clockwise until it is hand tight. You should have approximately one half of an inch gap between your inner and outer tires. At this point, you're going to tighten the draw bolt hand tight. And then utilizing your one inch socket and your torque wrench, you're going to torque it down to 120 foot pounds. Go ahead and repeat these steps for the three remaining tires to install the rest of the kit. Now we're going to show you how to remove the outer wheel for applications that do not require the use of dual wheels. To do this, we will need a medium-sized hammer, a plastic plug, a 1-inch socket, an extension, a ratchet, and safety glasses. With our inner wheels driven up on blocks, we want to go ahead and loosen the draw bar approximately five to six turns. Using our medium-sized hammer, we want to smack it so it pushes the tapered cone back in. Rotating your outer tire counterclockwise and spin it off of the inner hub of the tractor. 
You will then thread the plastic plug into the inner hub of the dual wheel kit. Thank you for watching this video on how to properly install and remove the dual wheel kit. For further instructions, please refer to the instruction sheet that comes with the kit. For more videos like this, please go to ventrack.com support.